come here, Stu. The match donkey is a drag. He looks like one of the ugly sisters. And I would be very, very worried if I went to a hospital and I had a masseur like that. Next. And fist fights, fouls, and bubbles. It's Bash FC's most exciting match ever. Do your fucking job, referee! The stakes are getting higher for the lads of Fash FC. After four months of ups and downs, both on and off the pitch, the players know they must improve their game if they're to stand any chance of winning the Hendon and District League and the County Cup. But away from the football field, there's tension between the players. Are you accusing me of touching your girl? Come on, shit! Several of the star players have succumbed to injury. They will be hurt there. And the gaffer and his assistant manager Mace are finding it hard to stay in control. Shut up! Shut up! Who the fucking hell do you think you are? Nobody is bigger than Bash FC! So can Bash FC pull themselves together and head for football glory? It's Wednesday night training. While Paul Baker gets himself oiled up, the boys are eager for action. Yeah, I mean, because of the fact that we didn't train last week Wednesday because of the weather, obviously, you know, a lot of the lads are definitely up for it tonight because we've got a big game on Sunday. After complaints from the squad that training needed to be more structured, the gaffer has brought a helping hand in to do just that. We've got a special guest down here with us tonight, ex-Arsenal captain, England international, Paul Davis. Davo, come in, mate. Star midfielder Paul Davis played against the lads at a recent celebrity match. Tonight is here to toughen their defensive formation. You know where they are, but be aware of your team, your teammates and the ball. They're the two most important things, really. Would there be a major difference if you're just going to have, like, three defenders? This was uh, the back four Arsenal played. The two um, full-backs just tucking in in front of Tony Adams and uh, Steve Bold. These guys were the ones that played the offsides, really. I played in the Arsenal team in the 80s and uh, the 90s. Uh, we played sort of zonal defending. A lot of the great sides really play with that sort of system. A lot of the championship sides play that 4-4-2 system. This is basics of defending. I think we're ready. Yeah? It all looks good on paper, but can Arsenal's tactics work with the Fash FC lads out on the pitch? Paul Davis, a uh, bit of an Arsenal legend, quality player, played for England. Um, he was in the uh, side that beat Liverpool 2-0 in the uh, last game of the season to win the championship. And uh, if, you know, if we can't listen and learn from him, then we can't listen and learn from anyone. Despite Paul's optimism, after 40 minutes of positional work, some of the lads are becoming hard to control. And stop there, stop, stop, stand still, stand still, stop! Don't again, just to be a little bit disciplined in what, what we've been talking about inside in the changing room about keeping their distances. I'm not, I'm just like standing around making up numbers, just trying to distract the defenders. So I'm not really involved in it. It's just between the defenders and the midfield. And I'm just like an extra man. It should be less verbal, more physical. You know, look, talking, 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 talking. And then when we get to action, it's two, two minutes or two seconds max. I mean, these kind of uh, drills are sometimes repetitive and they're quite basic. But until you get the basic foundations right, then you can't really succeed and go on to anywhere else. So they really need to concentrate on this area. This week, Fash FC are playing in the quarter-finals of the Middlesex County Cup. And after his recent outbursts, Fash and Mace are still trying to work out what to do with Brenton. Brenton, psychologically up here, is ready for Saturday, for Sunday. Is he really ready for it? Whether he's ready for it or not, I think he's the only person that uh, we can put in there that's got a bit of strength and uh, that we need in the back four to replace Warren. Obi, if you're going to go with Brenton first of all, the first team, you just check with Brenton that he wants to play in defence. Mm -hmm. As opposed to him now we're announcing, him giving it one of these. I don't want to see that deputy dog face. I'm getting yeah. sick of seeing that okay. face all the time. No problem, you know? But it's not just the management who recognise Brenton's misdemeanours. There's a few players who have got big for their boots since um, since this whole well this whole experience began with Fash FC. Uh, Brenton's definitely one of them. He'll be the first to admit it. Uh, Brenton's lost the plot on a couple of occasions, which is something we didn't see from him at the start of the season. Oh, it's not just Brenton. Players in general, I think, are starting to get a little bit too big for their boots. You know, they've been doing it for a while. All right, ladies, the team for Sunday. Carl is out due to a technicality, and Warren and Stewart are both injured. The positioning goal is open. Mark in goal. 
Round of applause, ladies. After a shaky start to the season, Mark has still to prove himself. Let's try and keep some clean sheets, Mark. Subs, the big man, Brenton. Donkey Brenton's on the bench Aaron. for the first time ever. Warren's injury means that Fash FC are once again without a skipper. Someone who's been consistent. The old man, step forward, Paul. Well done, you deserve it. It's fantastic. Brilliant, I mean, I'm amazing, you know, can't keep pinching myself again. You know, when I came into the show, uh, my friends were saying to me, you'll be lucky if you even get a game, matey, you know, and um, here we are, halfway through the season. I've got the armband, fantastic news. So, has Warren lost his position? I'm very happy for him, you know, uh, since he's coming, he's done well. It won't be for long, though, because I do want my armband back. The Fash FC players may be experts on the pitch, but not all the lads are as gifted in the brains department. And even the gaffer has turned up. The, the truth is, if you're a professional footballer at the top level, somewhere along the line you must have neglected your academic studies. Then you've got like, people with degrees here and everything, so I just went normal school. Paul, Lacey, they're quite intelligent kind of guys. Maybe Stuart as well, and obviously myself. Warren well, certainly ain't the brightest bulb in the street. I'm not uh, academically the smartest. Warren, Carl, and um, Jamie, they're going to fuck everything up tonight. The players have been split into each teams. The red team is Carl, Warren, Jason, Jamie Hinchliffe, Tony, Stuart and Pat. Facing them in this mental duel are the blue team. Paul, Mark, Sam, Jamie Spaniel, Lacey, Aaron and Mike. Hosting tonight's quiz will be big match reporter Caroline Flack. Hello boys Hello. and welcome to the Fash FC pub quiz. The first round is a test of Fash FC trivia. So we'll start with Carl. One game. What is the current Fash FC league goal difference? Plus nine. No, it's wrong. It's plus four. Warren? Who are the tallest and shortest Fash FC players? The tallest player is Stuart Collins and the shortest player is Lacey. No, Brenton and Carl. <laughs> Jason, what was the last club that Fash played for? Aston Villa. It was indeed, well done. Your first point. Aaron, how many league goals has Sam Diamond scored? A, four, B, five or C, six? Five. Correct. Yay! For an extra point, Stephen, how many non-league goals has he scored? Six. That's seven, I'm afraid. Oh! Sorry. I think you're going to see one or two of the lads really shine tonight. Jason's a journeyman. He's been all around. He's exposed. He Equally, he's got a good brain. We've got the best look inside. And we've got a brain inside as well. Round two. The next round involves wearing a blindfold and using only touch to recognise three of the opposition team members. First up is Paul. Start now. The final round is a head-to-head, -head, where each team chooses a member from the opposition to take up the general knowledge challenge. The stupid player. Who do you think is going to get no questions right? And it's no surprise who the boys pick. Which state is Arnold Schwarzenegger governor? California. What are the names? of Donald Duck's nephew. From what bridge 
does the Oxford versus Cambridge Good. boat race start? Richmond. Brisbane. That's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, this yeah. is quite an easy one for you guys. Get ready for it. Who's the captain of the England Cricket team? No, shout out. Which rapper is dating Beyonce? Yeah. Jay Z. Yeah. 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 Which tennis player tested positive for drugs this season? Yeah. Yeah. Which day did the war in Iraq start? It's all a laugh for Lazy and Spaniel, but Warren really wants to win. As the blue team celebrates, the Reds must swallow their defeat. I did want our team to just pull out of the quiz and, and quit because that's just unfair. It's not, it's not right. Our team especially felt aggrieved on the questioning. We felt their questions were a lot easier than ours. And I suppose any team you lost would say that, wouldn't they? Obviously the Blues won, the Brains were on the blue team, the Brain Deads were on the red team, as I say. Still to come on Fashion News Football Challenge, Brenton gets yeah. hands on... Who's your daddy? Ooh. Wow. And Stuart's in a stiff situation. Something happened in Stuart's trousers. Uh. Sit your pants back up, mate. <laughs> Final trick of the day. There is a machine. It's faster. Sleeker. And more technologically advanced than ever before. Introducing the new XDA2. See what you can do. O2. Because the Maestro logo is on your Switch card, it's now. Switch Maestro. One card. Your money at home and abroad. However you prepare for your sport, top athletes drink Lucozade Sport to increase endurance. Are you ready? It's better, dangerously better. Women, don't expect any help on a Thursday. Nuts, the new magazine for men, every Thursday. Unsurpassed engineering, unparalleled technology, nothing else performs like it. Champion, Mac 3 Turbo Champion. It's the closest, most comfortable shave. Now with a red hot new look. Test drive one today. Mac 3 Turbo Champion from Gillette. The best a man can get. <sighs> Electric shivers across my skin. It's like a fever, and you're my only medicine. Could I be dreaming of touch? touch, the new fragrance from Lynx. Through Saturday, it's a double rollover. That's double the excitement. You've just got to join in. It's a £17 million double rollover on this Saturday's Lotto.
Hello, direct line car insurance. Hi, I've had a nasty prank in my car. Our man saved a lot of money with us, so let's show him what else we can do. Okay, let's get that car out of there and fixed up sharp. And then we'll clean it and deliver it back to him wherever he is. He'll like that. Okay, what we'll Call do or buy it. online and you could save up to 30%. of travelling on the road. Britain's worst driver too. Weeknights at 8.30 on Bravo. You are hopeless. <laughs> Coming up on Fashion News Football Challenge, big man Brenton's pushing all the right buttons. I'll look after you, I'll take good care of you. That was... Oh. Stuart's in a tight spot. As soon as I hear the word footballer, they want to get in your pants. And fists fly at the big match. Calm it down, calm it down! With last week's match cancelled due to a waterlogged pitch, Flash asked the squad to vote for who they felt should be awarded the man of the match. The decision was Stuart, and all he's been told is that his reward will be the ultimate lads night out. It's Tuesday night and Stuart's gone to his local pub to await his surprise. Thanks, Stuart. Oh, there you go, that's from your gaffer. Thank you. Thank you. Right, Hello, Bubla. Well done for being voted man of the match. Tonight you're going to be treated to the ultimate night out. That sounds good to me, which should take your mind off your injured foot. Don't let the side down, the gaffer. They're still not telling me what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't take him long to find out. Oh my god! This is Maria. Oh. Hello, Maria. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Well, fine. Stuart's dates for the night right, are going? the famous strip act, the UK Centrefold Girls. We party on all night. This is fantastic. <laughs> They'll be driving around London in style. But this is uh, much better than I expected. Let's get this party going. There you go. Quick. There you go. Tells. Four beautiful girls on my arm tonight, so can't wait to see what's in store. Obviously, the, the lads are going to rip me a bit later, so I'm ready for that. But I'm sure deep down they're very jealous. First stop is a Hawaiian themed restaurant in Kingston. Superb night. Cheers. Cheers. I'm in my element. I'm absolutely loving it. And they were like, oh, I'm sure you'd be more nervous than this. I'm just like, Come on, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to be nervous sitting around four beautiful girls. Stuart seems to be paying particular attention to one of the girls and it hasn't gone unnoticed. <laughs> I do think Stuart fancies Taylor the most. Yeah, a lot of eye contact there, definitely. I think he's a bit bowled over with her. Had to, I think he needs to pick his chin up off the floor, actually. I'm liking Taylor. You know, she seems really up for it tonight, having a good few drinks. Um, as soon as I hear the word footballer, that's it, you know, they want to know you. They want to get they want to get in your pants. I think Stuart's a great guy. Um, I think he's very, very confident and he's quite cute too. Stuart's taken a shine to Taylor, and with the evening still young, will anything happen? Last week, the choice of match donkey was also decided by a player vote. Brenton. 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 Big mouth Brenton. 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 Brenton, the big man, because he was an idiot last week. For his punishment, Brenton will be assisting Physio Sue with first aid and sports massage. Looking forward to this. What are you got in store for me then? Sean is on hand to act as guinea pig for Brenton's bandaging skills. I'm trying to fix smell, man. Sorry, man. Ow! Careful, man! Hopefully, he'll have more success with mouth to mouth. Tip the head back, okay, with your two fingers. 
you need to squeeze the nose and you need to open the mouth. Okay. But will Brenton and Sean lock lips? Hell oh, no! <laughs> No nah, man, this I is too deep. I'll do most things, but this is deep. This is deep. No, no, no. I can't do that. This is deep. This is deep. <laughs> Brenton is more comfortable okay. with the basics yeah. of a therapeutic massage. Yeah. Yeah. Down, lovely. Oh, Shawnee, you're so smooth. Yeah. Come down to the side. Oh. Come round the side. Oh, Sean. <laughs> All right. Keep the left hand off my ass. Sue's invited some rather special clients along to put Brenton to the test. First up is Cabby Dave who may prove to be a bit of a handful. Okay, sure. you enjoy it. I don't know if I'm going too hard or too That's soft. Okay. So how long have you been doing this? Um, a few months. Right, that's your lot, sir. After half an hour of kneading dough, Brenton is keen to call it a day. Please don't tell me I've got it anymore. The bad news is that Brenton does have another client. The good news is, it's a lady. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Here's my student. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Hello. All right. A bit, bit frightened. I've um, never had a massage before. All right. Don't worry. You'll enjoy it. It's you a sure? good experience. I'll look after you. I'll take good care of you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Brenton, the complete gentleman, even helps 72-year-old Barbara take her clothes off. Turn up. Because don't look. Don't look. But Brenton can't I'm help sorry. but have a I'm peek. So it's okay, take your... Oops, sorry. Tell me if I go too hard. No. No, harder the better. Oh. Well, that's nice. I know, you need to relax. Don't worry. Oh, By the time okay. I finish with you, you'll be loose as anything. After 20 minutes, Brenton really starts pushing the right buttons. Please. Your eyes gone all funny. Who's your daddy? You is. I you? Who is? Who's that laughing? Is anybody laughing there? No, I don't what think, they, I think, are they laughing at you? I think they've got a cold, the sneezing. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Mm. I actually do home visits as well, so. Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, oh okay, I'm afraid that's it now. Time's up. Oh, all right. Oh, wow. That was. Oh. Who is he? I'm actually quite impressed. I'm very worried about my job now <laughs> because I think the lads are going to have a, uh, a surprise on Sunday. You've got a lovely, lovely touch. So, and I can develop this. While Brenton has his hands full back in the limo, Stuart is finding it hard to control himself. Oh no! Excellent! Hold that, sorry darling. Here's to the next venue. These girls are animals. At the next bar on Stuart's night out, the go. girls have prepared a little entertainment. Oh no. It's a game of Twister. Okay, we're getting there. But this is Twister, man of the match style. I did the spinning and I set him up so that he basically ended up with Taylor's bum right in his face, so, which he loved. Honestly, I'm not, I'm not looking. I'm, I'm not looking at all. <laughs> Now we're in a good position. <laughs> no. Wicked. Having untangled themselves, they all head off to the next venue. <laughs> At the final bar, the girls have a surprise in store for our man of the match. Stuart is about to get a real shock. The girls are um, on a bed behind me and they have all gone down to their underwear. Oh. <laughs> When Stuart walked around the corner, he saw us in our lingerie, he was just so happy you could see that he just wanted to dive on the bed. But the girls have other plans for Stuart. Oh my god. Honestly, I couldn't believe it. My eyes came out of my head. Four beautiful women just sat there on a bed, just going, come here, Stuart. Can I walk on this <laughs> With heels on. 
<laughs> what guy wouldn't enjoy this? Every guy will relate to this. It's as simple as that. Woo! Down below in Stuart's trousers, but but I can't, I can't really say that, can I? Yeah. It, it, it did though, it did, I saw it. This man of the matches is Donkey of the Matches. This is without a doubt the best man of the match award that has happened. To the fashion suit boys, come on, you got to be man of the match every week. <laughs> Taylor, sexy, sexy girl, sexy girl. Not sure what's going to happen tonight. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Taylor and Stuart yeah. try to hide from the cameras, but Stuart is still wearing his microphone. Well, I think you're a great guy. No, yeah, you're a great girl. Here's my number anyway. My email address. Mm -hmm. oh, gorgeous. Thanks. Busted. Uh, Set your pants back up, mate. Yeah. We were talking. It's the end of the night and the girls are heading back to their hotel. Stuart has that old first date dilemma. Kiss them goodnight or take a ride. Night is young. Is it, girls? Well, who can blame you? Go on, my son. Still to come on Fashion News Football Challenge, Brenton's in hot demand. Everyone's queuing up, everyone wants to go. You know, everyone wants a piece of me. And a Fash FC up for the cup. We do or we die. And I'll tell you what, ladies, it ain't a good day to die. Ripley's is here with unbelievable new stories. Tuesday to Friday at 9, only on Bravo. Mrs. Harper, do you want to come through? Aww. Mrs. Del Beato, let's have a look. I know, I know. My bank won't give me the number of my branch. Go straight for me. Result, a pain in the neck. Talk about tense, nervous headache. There's got to be another way. Not my diagnosis, love. Try another bank. And so our research into the perfect driving sensation leads us here. The derriere. The closer to the road, the better. Doctor, demonstration. Life is great and life is fine Cause I've met a girl and no one likes you You're oh. annoying me a lot now <laughs> Oh, you know, we've got so much in common We like eating, drinking, yoga Yoga? Shh. I'd like to go to a yoga class Beginner I see myself as more of an intermediate, actually A bunch of ladies going, hmm, how hard can it be? Bringing the arms behind the back into prayer position. Don't forget to breathe. That's chiropractors. C H I R O P R. The Greyhound runs at 40 miles an hour and lives for 12 years. The pronghorn antelope runs at 60 miles an hour but lives for a mere 11 years. The cheetah, fastest animal on earth, lives just 10 years. Now consider the giant tortoise. He toddles along a bit. He has a little break. Walks a bit more. 
He has another little break. He travels at approximately zero miles an hour, but lives for 200 years. Have lots of little breaks with new Kit Kat cubes. Unsurpassed engineering, unparalleled technology, nothing else performs like it. Champion, Mac 3 Turbo Champion. It's the closest, most comfortable shave. Now with a red hot new look. Test drive one today. Mac 3 Turbo Champion from Gillette, the best a man can get. Hey, come on Snow White, let's clean you up before the dwarves get home. Personal's new tablets now fizz into action on every stain imaginable. That's chiropractors. See. Now you can also call Yellow Pages 118 24 7. Whatever business or service you want 24 7. O R. Women! Don't expect any help on a Thursday. Nuts, the new magazine for men. Every Thursday. Warning! Take cover! They watch you while you sleep, while you work, and while you play! Ah! All this month on Challenge, we bring you the cream of hidden camera shows! Setups, stitch ups, oh, gotcha that time, and sneaky little peaky cameras. Ever felt like someone's watching you? Well, it's more than likely that they are. Are you joking me? Catch caught on camera Monday to Saturday from 8 on Challenge. He's gone down, guys. You can take the opposition. Don't like that one bit. Coming up on Fashion News Football Challenge, Donkey Brenton gets his hands dirty. Brenton's really good, his hands are as strong as his tongue was lost. And can Fash FC stay in the cup? He didn't get his body behind the ball and he didn't even put two hands out. It's Sunday, match day, and Fash FC are facing Enfield Rangers old boys in the quarterfinals of the Middlesex County Cup. Today is very important. You know, you only get one shot of the cup. It's not like the league where you have a home and away game. This is a one-off. So it's not a case of just sitting back and relaxing. It's a case of all or nothing. Old celeb FC rival Harvey has turned out in support. It's a cup match today, right? Yeah. So hopefully they get a result. They better make it worth my while me getting out of my bed anyway. If the lads win today, they'll be through to the semi-finals and a chance of winning their first bit of silverware for the Fash FC trophy cabinet. Uh, it's a massive game for us actually, we've been a good cup side this year, we've always been really up for the big games and perform well. Uh, it's important that we get to the semi-final because I really want to win something this season. It's also a big day for veteran Paul Baker, who is making his first outing as skipper while Warren is off injured. A uh, big chance really to put Fash FC in the history books by actually winning a trophy, so uh, immensely proud and hoping to do the business and, uh, and get a good win today. We've got the old man, I keep calling the old man, which I shouldn't, Paul, um, who's only 43, which is not old, thank you very much. And he is going to be captain today, which I think is a great testimony to Paul, who's come out, uh, said he's gay, had no problems with anybody at all. It does tell you that football is now coming of age as well, and he's going to be captain today. Yeah, people have got a lot of respect for um, Paul, because he, when he first came into the squad, people thought, oh, he's going to get evicted, this and that. Came in, he hasn't been out of the team since, so we've got a lot of respect for the old man, and... Um, even though you can't teach an old, an old dog new tricks, um, I'm sure he'd make a good captain. <laughs> With kickoff fast approaching, the lads get changed. But match donkey Brenton is not getting into his usual strip. That's gonna come off. As today, he's Sue's massage assistant, Sue. Nurse B. Oh, Sue. <laughs> How's that? You're looking so transsexual, isn't it? Using the breasts on. Oh, my his first victim is Jamie Hinchliffe, who is understandably a bit nervous about taking his kit off in front of a six foot three oiled up transvestite. Hey, so imagine, <laughs> let me draw my trousers. <laughs> <laughs> so what can you do? <laughs> you the big man has had a few tantrums lately, but is there a gentler, more feminine side to him? I don't have a problem with my temper, but uh, the last few weeks have been quite stressful. And to be honest, sorry, this is 
actually quite a common influence. Bringing pleasure to someone else instead of pain. <laughs> I could bring pain to him, but I'm not going. Because I know how good it feels to get a massage and it's nice to uh, give it back. Worryingly, Jamie seems to be enjoying it. Yeah, Brendan, you know, he's got, he's got the right gear on. Looks good. Next, who's next? Oh, yeah. Nurse B is proving to be a big hit. Everyone's queuing up, everyone wants to go. You know, everyone wants a piece of me. So uh, they'll get their chance, don't worry about that. Brendan's really good, his hands are as strong as his tongue was last week, so he's doing really well. I like it quite hard and he's, um, he's up to standard. And jolly skipper Paul feels very at home. I have to say I've got a big strapping lad doing my uh, calf muscles and he's doing a very good job at the moment. So see what he's like with the hamstrings and uh, inner, inner thighs. I'll, uh, I'll let you know. The only one who's unimpressed is the gaffer. Right, he looks like one of the ugly sisters. That's what he looks like right now. And I would be very, very worried if I went to a hospital and I had a masseur like that. I'm very worried. And it's not just Brenton's cross-dressing that is making the gaffer anxious. I'm a little bit worried actually. Just the preparation today has been pretty poor. You know, it's, it's quarter to 12. Kick-off is at 12 o'clock. And the lads are now suddenly want to come out and kick. I'm a little bit concerned as well about Mark as my goalkeeper. I just feel that he's spending more time looking at other people than he is concentrating on catching those balls at the moment. He wants to look around, see who's looking at him. You know, this is not good. Ladies, hey, hey, listen to me the hush. Enfield Rangers old boys. They ain't any pushovers. They're a rough house. They're a silent bunch. They're second in their league. Second from top. They've come here to win. This is a cup game. There ain't no return. We go through or we go out. We do or we die. And I'll tell you what, ladies, it ain't a good day to die. So we ain't gonna die. Paul? We've got a chance to create history here. If we can get our name on this cup, Fash FC might be finished by the end of this season. But if we win a trophy, <coughs> then Fash FC remains and we're in the history book. So let's go out there, give it all, and let's come off that pitch knowing right. that we've done everything we bloody well right. can oh, to win this cup. Yeah. Yeah. Well Jason, Jason. Roused by their new skipper's call to arms, the lads prepare to take on Enfield Rangers old boys in this crucial cup clash quarter final. The whistle blows then in this Middlesex County Cup quarter final match. Uh, Fash FC attacking the goal away to our left. It seems that Fash FC have already found their feet as the forwards pile on the pressure. Sam Diamond, can he get the ball through to Jamie Hinchliffe? He can, big tackle in, Hinchliffe goes down and the clearance was a big one. A bold challenge against Jamie Hinchliffe results in Fash FC's first corner. First corner kick of the game, it's going to be Jamie Spaniel to take it. It comes from Spaniel, caught up in the wind, it's swirling, it's dangerous, the goalie is stranded. A quick counter attack forces goalie Mark out of his box and is looking a little confused. But Bash FC are quickly back on top. Hey, Jamie Hinson be through, so to Sam Diamond. Hinson goes for goal and scores. Fash FC have the lead and it's Jamie Hinsley who scores for Fash FC. Well done, well done, Jamie H, well done. Great, 1-0 well, up, piece of cake. With barely time to catch their breath, star striker Sam is earning his stripes. Diamond is in on goal here and he goes down. What's the referee given? It's a penalty. Regularly, Warren War would want to take the penalty, but due to injury, Fabian steps up instead. Colombian steps up and finishes down to the goalie's right. He had no chance there. A very cool penalty finish from Fabian Hamosa and Fash FC lead it by two goals to nil. Fash FC remain relentless as Fabian takes a corner. Put it on the keeper, Fabian. Left peg on the keeper. Here comes the corner kick from Fabian. A great corner kick. And it's down and it's in. And it's Jason Phillips' goal. Tremendous. Jason Phillips with the goal, little Louis, his son, will be proud. Fash FC lead it by three goals to nil. The lads have a comfortable lead, and as the half-time whistle blows, things are looking promising for Fash FC's commanding cup run. This is the last two weeks have been weeks of comebacks. Teams are coming back from the dead. They can come back. We've got the wind against us this half. It's a different game this 45 minutes. Keep it short, playing triangles. 
You can't go smashing the ball. We have to protect our goalkeeper. He's a small guy. You see what they're doing. Any free kicks, they're putting it on the keeper. Even more reason why we must stop conceding free kicks in silly areas. So still to come on Fashion News Football Challenge. Continues Pemberton stranded. Can Fresh FC hang on to their lead? And the tension's too much for Fash. Do your fucking job, referee! This is a real dangerous position. They've got to come out near post. so many people coming back to BT. So I would maybe get up to make a call and there was no line. I'd wait maybe a couple of hours. It would be nearly the evening before the service came back. And I just thought, let me just go back to BT because I know it's sufficient. The price was really good. I can say to my friends, let me call you back because I don't have to worry. I know I'm only going to pay the set amount every month. Catch up on all the gossip. <laughs> With its deliciously minty burst and lasting freshness, there's never been a mint like it. New Extra Mints. Go on, try one. Get one of these great Java games sent direct to your mobile. Just text the word GAME followed by the title of the game you want and send it to the number 8181. So text GAME and the title to 8181. Women, don't expect any help on a Thursday. Nuts, the new magazine for men, every Thursday. People thought I was nuts because it was a tumbling down stable. I just thought, go for it. And uh, when we've been working on the house together, we've had to watch the budget. So in Asda, we've managed to buy some really nice things. We found some really different things. And the prices are just amazing. And you just fill up the boot and come home. And you kind of sit there and think, this is ours. But it's something to be proud of. And it's all finished just in time. At Curry's now, don't miss out on up to £15 worth of free vouchers, plus even more price cuts across the store. What are you Always waiting for? Prices. New Neutrogena Healthy Scalp Shampoo soothes and moisturises your scalp and gives you beautiful, healthy-looking hair. Neutrogena, it works. This Saturday, it's a double rollover. That's double the excitement. You've just got to join in. It's a £17 million double rollover on this Saturday's Lotto. Sorry. My family's so wet. Haven't they heard of Comfort Fast Dry? It's the fastest drying fabric conditioner you can buy. Your call means a lot to us. My bank gives me nothing but recorded messages after 8 o'clock. Hello, Mr Mason. Result? My blood pressure goes up. Mr Mason, you're absolutely fine. Talk about tense, nervous headache. There's got to be another way. Want my diagnosis, love? Try another bank. Real one. Come, Dad. You'll get a real white when you burn it. Take a banana. Show now some remember movement. that again. Show one, some... two, three. Woo! You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. right. From the top. Ready? <laughs> Final trick of the jack. Coming up on Fashion News Football Challenge. Here comes a chance for the corner. Oh, and it's in. With another 45 minutes to go, will Fash FC pay the penalty? It's Phillips against Ian Mitchell.
the second half kicks off. Crash FC are 3-0 up and seemingly cruising to victory. But the crowd have hardly settled in their seats before Fash FC's weakness is exposed. Well, Mike Pemberton outstretched his left hand and really messed that one up. Fash's fears are confirmed as Enfield Rangers make mincemeat of goalie mark. Here come Enfield Rangers, the comeback continues, Pemberton stranded. Oh! oh dear, oh dear. As Fash FC's lead ebbs away, Enfield Rangers are yet again in the danger area. Here comes a chance from the corner. Oh, and it's in. 3-2. The comeback is on. I think he loves it. And Enfield Rangers have been knocking on the door. Here comes the corner. Let's try and see who it is. It is. There's that man there. Knocked in off Dingle. It's a Dingle own goal. Enfield are in control of the game. But can Fash FC hold on to their single goal lead and survive to full time? Here's a chance. Chapman's in on goal. Big save. Let's get it going. Jason, sign on. Jamal, go over a little bit, Jamal. Go over a little bit, Jamal. So just less than 10 minutes left to go in this game. Oh, oh great my chance. Word. Great chance there for Andy Ledbetter or Barry from EastEnders. Slow down. Slow down. Mark, slow down. Where's he going? In his eagerness to avoid another attack before full time, Mark infringes the six second rule. He's taken too long with the ball here. He's taken far too long with the ball here, Mark Pemberton. He's going to get a booking. Flash's worst fears have come true, as a free kick is given away in a very silly area. It's going to be indirect. What a goal from Jackson Gash and Kermont Road goes wild. What an unbelievable goal. We are sat right behind that and that was the sweetest of strikes. David Beckham would have been proud of that one. Jackson Gash makes it 3-3 and we are headed for extra time here in the Middlesex County Cup. What a goal. Enfield Rangers' remarkable return to form has snatched away Fash FC's hopes of an easy victory. The final whistle blows and Fash does his best to rally the troops. Come on, come in. Come on, Jamie. Hey, we've gone this far. Hey, we've gone this far. We'll get it. It'll happen. It'll happen. Believe in yourselves. Take control of the game again. The game kicks off into extra time, but things haven't improved. Quarter final action here. Fash FC being held by Enfield Rangers. They were 3 0 up after just 24 minutes. They were home and host, we thought. No, no. Here's a chance. Now Sam Diamond looks to be hurt. The goalie is hurt. Bash FC's hopes of victory are fading as star striker Sam is out of the match. Well, well Sam Diamond is being stretched off here and he is in some real pain. A nasty collision with the goalie Ian Mitchell. Sam is clearly in a lot of pain and Sue is worried about his nasty gash. Dreadful, horrible bruising and looks uh, pretty nasty. Obviously very, very painful for Sam. Um, not at all very nice. We're gonna clean it up and have a look at it then. Not very nice at all. Meanwhile, back on the pitch, the game is getting rougher. Oh! Hey! Hey! Hey, referee! Hey, come on! Do your fucking job! Do your fucking job, referee! You're seeing things! Do your job, man! Both sides pile into the fray. As the ref loses his grip on the escalating squall, Fash does his best to restore order. Calm it down, 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 calm yourself down. Off the ball, totally, totally ridiculous. Off the ball for Jason Phillips. Referee again, but then he didn't see, the, didn't see it, you know what I mean? Absolutely ridiculous. But, you know, Hey, hey, hey! Fucking close it. Mate, don't get involved. Mate, don't get involved. 
Incredibly, after dangerously clotheslining Jason, the guilty number five is only booked with a yellow card. And that is a red card offence. That is dangerous play. He's a joke. Play resumes and Enfield Rangers rub salt in the wounds with another attack on goal. Enfield Rangers knock it back in. Offside flag should have been raised there. Surely Pemberton beaten. But the shot was wide. Well, the full-time whistle blows here at the end of an extra time session which failed to produce a goal. And we will now go into the lottery. That is a penalty shootout. Come in, come in. Let's see well, big man. The players well, prepare to go head to head. But there's trouble at both ends of the pitch as the goalkeepers struggle with injuries. Well, Mark Pemberton thinks he may well have a broken hand. That's the word we're getting in from the Fash FC bench area from Sue the Physio. He's taken a knock during the course of this game. He thinks he's broken a bone in his hand. Speaking of breakages, his opposite number, Ian Mitchell, has also got a badly damaged ankle. That's been strapped up. You can see he can hardly walk there. Heavily strapped right <laughs> angle, ankle. He's limping. Well, I tell you what, these boys are battered and bruised, but they are going to try and pull out every stop to try and be the hero here today. Penalty number one then, it's going to be Enfield Rangers who start things off and it's Paul Canavan to step up, oh and it's saved, Mark Pemberton saves the first penalty kick, would you believe it, Mark Pemberton, well well well, our first penalty missed here and it's Paul Canavan who scored the first Enfield goal, Fash FC could take a lead here in this penalty shootout. Jamie Hinchliffe, the 24-year-old from East Barnet, steps up, right-footed, and it's saved too! Jamie Hinchliffe also denied here, and we are level. The keeper came off his line, so Jamie gets a second chance. He wants to take it again. He's taking it again. Keeper must have moved. He's taking it again. Smash it! Backing lucky that one, isn't it? Forward, Hinchliffe, second chance, and make sure this time Jamie Hinchliffe scores here again. He opened the scoring on eight minutes, he scores the first penalty, but it took a retake. Bash FC a 1 0 up, but not for long. Time for veteran Paul to step up in his new role as Fash FC skipper. The 44 year old, the oldest member of Fash FC. The man who's captain today, the man who said he wants Fash FC to win this trophy to book their place in history and write their name on the silverware. Oh, and he's hit the bar. After Paul's unlucky slip, Enfield Rangers have the chance to take the lead. It's 2-1 to Enfield Rangers old boys. Can the young wonder kid Jamal stop the rot? Saved. Jamal Pereira sees his penalty saved and that's tough on the 16 year old, very tough indeed. As hopes of a victory slip away, Mark gets a lucky escape. I do not believe this. So Sean steps up for his crucial penalty. He must score to keep Fash FC's cup hopes alive. With two goals apiece and one penalty each to go, it's become sudden death as Enfield Rangers star striker steps up. Here comes Dash! Save oh. and over! Save and over! Mark Pemberton has given them a massive, massive chance here! What a save by Mark Pemberton! Mark has redeemed himself. Now can Jason be the hero of the hour? With a chance to put Fash FC in the semi-finals of the Middlesex County Cup. It's Phillips against Ian Mitchell for Fash FC's place in the semi-final. Please do it. Will glory bestowed upon him. He's wow. trying to psych him out. Here comes Phillips with a big penalty. Yes! He's done it! <laughs> yes. Yes. 
Yes. <laughs> Jason Phillips books the place in the cup semi-finals. Jason Phillips is the hero of the day, the hero of the hour, the hero of the week. And Fash FC are through. That's for you, son. That's for you, Louis. Let me say that. Made it hard work for ourselves, lad. Made it hard work for ourselves. That game was all over. It was all over. Lacked the focus, lost our focus, lost a bit of discipline. <coughs> but you redeemed yourselves. You redeemed yourselves. Give yourselves a round of applause. Oh, that was a very serious match. That was one of our hardest tests that we've had this season. One, because when we first came into Fash FC, yeah, we got our asses kicked a few times, but it didn't hurt so much. But now we're the glory boys. Now we're supposed to have golden bollocks. So every time somebody tries to beat us, it hurts. And I tell you now, had we lost that game, you know that, that little firm in there would have been all over us. They would have been in our faces. Well done, lads. Well done. Well done. Don't forget on Sunday at 8.30, it's the big match. Join me, Andy Goldstein, Andy Burton and Caroline Flack for the real story behind Fash FC's battle against Enfield Rangers Old Boys. We'll have all the exclusive drama both on and off the pitch. Hey, referee! Hey, come on! Do your fucking job! Then on Monday at 5.30, it's Fash FC Extra Time. Our behind-the-scenes look at the world of Fash FC. The players face the Fash and Tony's causing tension. So you think uh, talking critically about Brenton and uh, uh, Jamie Spaniel is fun? I only say it's fun. We hit, we hit our fun. Plus, Mark hears some harsh words from the gaffer. You're only as good as your last match. And so far, you are useless. We hear from the fans. Fabio's getting a bit big for his boots because he's crap. Big man Brenton is in the Fash Files. The difference between me and Patrick Vieri probably gets paid about 50 times more than me. And Jason takes us to Wales. Close you, Gummery. Welsh for welcome to Wales. We'll be back next Friday at 10 pm for another Fashion News Football Challenge. There's penalties at training. Very poor. Man of the match goes up in the world. I feel like Fashion Beckham. <laughs> and pop star Paul goes for another hit. We're England! See you then! The first quarter, an absolute shovel! Get out there and turn this round! Now! <laughs> Addiction. It can strike any of us. The endless cravings. Sleepless nights. Well, now you don't have to go through it alone. If console or PC gaming is your addiction, you're in good company. For everything gaming, gaming at five weekdays on Bravo. I'm doing it with my secretary. We did it. At 30,000 feet. I'll be doing it over lunch. Introduce a friend to Sky Digital's top package. They get installed for just £1 and you'll get £30 of vouchers free. I want to do it with Bob and Joe, like most teenagers, have dozens of friends to call. But there's a big difference between them. Joe